They got a 2004 Honda Odyssey van in here. 2001 to 2004 is all the same. This thing's got a bad center roller for the slider on the driver's side. Um, the passenger side, it, are, it already had a problem with it probably about, I don't know, half a year, a year ago when I fixed it. It had a nice catastrophic failure. The center roller went bad and it burned up the motor. So, I turned it into a manual slider. If you ever have a problem with the motor on this, don't bother replacing the motor and doing all that work. It's just a waste of time and money as far as I'm concerned. Because this thing works manual, just fine. Old school. Ooh. I mean, really, I don't, I don't, I don't see the point in making these things automatic again. It works fine. Um, there's a little spring down on the bottom that holds it open, right here. A little, uh, little spring on the roller. This little black piece of stuff right here. So it stays open when you need to. I mean, that's really all you need to worry about. Um, the reason why these fail so much is because um, people have too many children. Um, if you have less children, it will definitely prolong the life of your center roller in your rear in your slider. So, anyways, onto this side. He's already got a problem with this handle. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to close for some reason. It's probably in this right here. But I'm not going to fix that. If he if this thing gets really bad, I'm just going to cut the cables. Basically, there's a cable right here, and then there's a cable back here. You'll see it when I when I take this apart. You cut both of those and just stick the cable in a hole and. Call it, call it manual. So that's that's how I fix those. Um, anyways, this thing's got a bad center roller. If you look, if you look way down in there, see if this camera can pick it up. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, but if you look way down in there, you can see that the roller is actually missing. There's there's nothing left of it. Yeah, his, um, his button still works. So he's just using the button to close it. First thing you got to do is get this tail light off. There's a couple of screws hiding behind here. I don't think those are supposed to break. I like to just get in here with, with an object that's not going to scratch anything. Try to pop this thing out. There it is right there. You can unplug this or leave it hang. I'm probably going to leave it hang. And once you pop the tail light out, you got two Phillips screws. And you need to open the door up and you'll see a 10 millimeter. And you should be able to slide this back. Ooh, I got to shut this door. Ah, uh, yeah, try not to scratch it. Oh, this fell out of here. Where'd that nut come from? It's got rivets that are broken clean off for one of these right here. Yeah, that ain't no good. Huh, got the rivets for the front screw are busted clean off too. Nice rusty old stuff. I'm gonna open this. I'm going to hit the open, <clears throat> and then when it gets about halfway down, I'm going to hit close. You'll hear it beep a few times. That's where I'm going to want to want to replace the thing. <clears throat> now I'm going to want to support the door. Just want to put a little bit of a little bit of up force on it, not too much. Now I got two 12 millimeter bolts here I gotta take off. I'm gonna move my jack. It seems like it's a little, a little heavy in the back. I'm gonna slide this forward a little bit. I'm just gonna put a 
little towel under here so it doesn't scratch anything. A couple of magnets. Now the fun trick with this is I got a needle nose vice grip just to try to make my life a little easier. It's a really tight fit. So you just want to twist it as much as you can. It's got like a bicycle cable on it. It's the same thing. It's just a it's a groove design. It's groovy. And the other one can come off just like that. See the little grooves in there for the cable? Like I say, it's really tight. There's a little E-clip on this you got to get off. That little guy, see, it's an E. You pound this pin down. Take it out. I mail ordered this Chinese piece of junk. There's the part number for it. I don't know, you can get them all over the place. eBay, Amazon. Just look for center roller in whatever side you're going to use. Oops. That's wrong. So it goes together like that. There's the junk. Stretch. Get on there. Hmm. That thing's still not in there all the way. So I put it in here to try to try to loosen up the cable as much as possible so I can get it started in this hole and get it all the way up in there. Now I can ever so gingerly put the door back on. <clears throat> you want to be real careful with this because these things can fall right out on you with a quickness. I'm going to operate this door, make sure it wants to work. Now I just got to put it back together without these pieces. Just kind of look at the paint marks and put it back the way you took it off. It's going to have to work. Okay, bye.